As you can see, we are back in Maya and this time I want to talk about USD layers. In my previous tutorial, you noticed that I just briefly touched upon that area. I was mainly focusing on look devx and a little bit about USD stages. But today we will be focusing on how you can actually make a big use of layering within USD. We have our same Chappie asset here as before. And if you haven't done so, check out my previous tutorial on how to uh, use look devx and USD in Maya. So we've got CP file as my geo model here. And the first step, what we want to do is uh, let's just create a stage, which is just responsible for a modeler or the modeling department. Let's create a new stage with a new layer. Double click anonymous layer and just name it to be uh, chappy underscore model. This will create the USD file and we can also name the stage to model. All we have to do now, copy the geo into the model stage. So all we got to do is right click, duplicate under model shape. And now you can see that it lives under the stage under model shape. Let's just create a new scope for this and just name this geo. So it's all nice and tidy. And this goes in here. And now it's all part of the same hierarchy. And now all we got to do now is save. It will say, hey, I want to save it to that file and do yes. So now we have our model USD file. Well, let's also create, let's say, a camera USD file, where, which is maybe driven by layout or match move or whatever. So um, I'll just um, create a camera from view and let's just place it a little bit more interesting. Maybe also change the lens, the focal length to 85. I think that works. And now we do have a camera in place. Let's just lock this placement. And I can now right click, duplicate as USD data, and we only have the model shape. But now, Let's create a new one, create a new stage with new layer. We name this one Chappy underscore camera. Now that is here. We can name this to camera as well, just a stage name. And we can duplicate the main camera to the camera shape. And now it lives underneath here. Same as before, let's create a scope, name this cam and drag that in here. And now we have that as well. So let's hit save. Let's do lights as well. So for this to work with USD right now, the Maya lights are not supported, but I'm pretty sure in a future video, this will uh, work just fine. Now let's create a light, Arnold light. And uh, let's do area light. And let's, let me just do maybe a top down lighting. Now we have the light source here at the top. And now we do the same thing as before. We create a new stage with new layer. And this time we call this chappy lighting. That is saved. Let's call this lighting. And now we right click the light, duplicate under lighting shape, stage. And then we do the same as before. Or let's create a scope, name this LGT for lighting. Drop that in here, potentially rename this to top light and then hit save. So now we created three different stages, right? Ideally, we want to kind of combine them. So we just have a simple chappy layer, which we need to work off. Let's create a stage with a new layer. And in this case, let's just name it chappy, which is our main um, USD file. Save that. And now it's chappy USD. Let's name the stage as well to name it chappy. If you haven't noticed, we have a right click option here to load sub layers. That's what we want to do. We want to pick all the sub layers we just created load them in here and make sure you use relative paths so you can always um, easily share that USD file. And then you have all these sub layers created. Let's hit save. And now you can see that under our Chappie share, we have the cam geo light. All of them are part of this main Chappie USD file. I could technically now delete uh, the other stages because they are living within that USD file. Just a thing to note, it's a little bit different on how you want to work. Imagine you work in different DCCs or you're working with different people. You can potentially just give one person the lighting USD file and then they can only work on the lighting. The other person can just work on the model. So it's a different scene. And you as the render person, you can load the Chappie asset and you will get all these updates in your scene on the fly. Now imagine the, the model stage is changed. So I am imagine we want to do some changes to the model. Um, and I want to make sure I'm looking at the model stage that is active now. And let's say I want to, let's hide this piece here. And if I save this and I hide my model stage so we don't have anything and I reopen the Chappie stage, you can see that it's also missing now in my main render file. And that is the beauty of this. And the same applies to lights. If I now want to change the lighting, let's say I want to do a side light instead, I can either now 
work in the lighting stage as I just did in the model stage, switch to lighting, change it. And then um, let me just reopen this editor because sometimes it's not updating the names. So now we have our lighting. I could do, I could work in here or as I said before, I can also work in the main chappy one where we see all the things. And then it's just important to make sure that you're working, you, you enable this blue icon here next to the name so it knows where to make the changes to. So now if I want to make a side light um, of this here, I just move it to the side, do it, save it, like place it here. And then I hit save. And now this will save to the lighting USD file. And if I now bring open up the lighting file, you, you can see that the light is also moved on this end. So that's really cool. And now let's head over to Houdini and I'll show you how that works there. And now looking in Houdini, I just created a sublayer node under the stage, pointing into my Chappie USD file. And we get exactly the same thing, missing head plate, light is on the right. Imagine now I head back to Maya and I want to add maybe the shaders to it. Um, all we have to do now is um, create them and save them to the stage. I did have them already prepared, so I will just load them in here quick. And now you can see I have the Chappy material loaded. I can visualize that obviously in uh, Look Dev X. Again, as easy as before, we can just go to our main shader, select our geo, right click it, assign material to selection. And now that is being assigned to Chappy. And if I save now, you can see one mistake I did. I saved it to um, the USD file, uh, to the lighting file. So maybe that will cause some problems. But if I head back to Houdini now and I reload my file, you will notice that we should get the material files loaded as well. You can see Chappies is loaded up in here and it's also assigned to my geo. And if I render now, and then we can see our chappy is lit from the side with the textures applied. That's the beauty of it. So you can easily work between different DCCs and make adjustments, change USD files. I can now change the model again. Let's say in Maya, let's just actually do the unhide and unhide it. And then we are in this, let's save it and then reload the sub layer and voila the headpiece is back. So it's super flexible, super quick to work with. And I hope you enjoyed this little update. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I always read what you post. Thanks again. And I will see you in the next one.